matter if I get a fucking boy in my hand. It's not even gonna matter. It's not gonna fucking matter. Come on, this has got to work. Come on, come on, come on, this has got to work. Please. Yes! After six tries. Mm. Oh, thank God. Oh, after six fucking tries, it finally, finally worked. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. You have no fucking idea how fucking horrendous this was. Oh, dude. You just have no idea. Oh. To have to do this so many fucking times. And man, I also gotta tell you. I don't know what the fuck keeps getting on my controller. Because there keeps being some weird shit on it, and I don't know where it keeps coming from. Explains how I don't know why my nails sometimes get all weird. You guys don't want to hear this, but I, I don't care if you don't want to hear this. It's what I'm going to talk about, and it's, you know, it's what I got to fucking deal with. Now then, we did, Kiryu-san. We uh, won. Yeah, I'm sure it was tough without Koyuki. It was. You guys did great. I'm beat. I was too close for comfort. Mm. Seriously, it's rough without Koyuki-chan. I was melting out there. Impossible. We were guaranteed to win. Why? How did the plan fail? Mm. What plan? Too bad. So sad. Kunzaki-san? Or, oh, oh, it's Koyuki. Too bad, so sad, Kunzaki-san. Koyuki-chan! 
Yuki-san, I was so scared. What happened? I got surrounded by these then, thugs. What? Kanzaki. But then, that man over there stepped in. Well, shit. Yoda-san? Who's he? He's the former owner, but he's been missing for a long time. Yoda, you betrayed me. I was never on your side to begin with. I would joined you to stop your crimes myself. Nandate. What the hell? What crime has he committed here? He brought out the Grand Prix Operations Committee, ensuring that his group would always have the advantage. What? Finding proof was a difficult part, but with Forshine making such steady progress, he finally got desperate. But he was so sure he'd win this time. How to be pulled off? I asked an old friend to step in. He went to the committee and took out the trash, so to speak. An old Kirita. friend. Kitty John! Is this suspense killing ya? Oh no. Majma san? Why? Majma san? These weasels thought they had it made, so I went and taught them that cheaters never prosper. <clears throat> what did he do to you? Still, why did it have to be you, Majma san? Why are you here? Oh, didn't they fill you in? Kitty-chan, I used to manage Sunshine with Yoda-chan and y yuki chan here. What? All that nonsense about you being some War of the Night was... It's all true. He was a legend in these parts. We became Sunshine Boy's number one club, but then he vanished one day. Where did you disappear to, Majima-san? I was... I was worried sick, you know? Jeez! You were here one day and then gone the next! I thought you must have died! Uh, sorry, Yuki-chan, I, uh... It, <laughs> well, let's just say I had a lot going on at the time. Still, though, it kinda sucks that the club I spent all the time building up fell into the hands of this Kanzaki dweeb. And now you're not a hostess, but an owner? You take your eye off the ball for one second, the whole game changes. A second? It's been 20 years, Majma-san! But why now? What made you decide to come back? Yoda-chan asked me too. I didn't think I could face you after all this time, but I couldn't leave you hanging either. Majima son. All the same, I'm glad I did. I even nailed down the traitor for you. Wait, we have a traitor? Yeah. One among you is tied around Gonzaki's little finger. What? No way. Who though? That be? The one standing right there! Aika-chan? No way, why? That's so low, Aika-chan. What the heck? I didn't do anything. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, I was pointing at the shit sack behind you. Mind doing a little scooch, Aika-chan? What? Sure, sure. Hermodo! Bono Ikosaki? Yep, this chump was in deep with Kanzaki, controlling the Grand Prix from the shadows. What? Oot, that's crazy talk! I demand you produce proof of these baseless accusations! Hey, half dead guy. Where was a shady son of a bitch, right? Yes, sir. Ermodo! He was so fast. You're out of tricks now, Kanzaki. Isn't it time to admit defeat? <laughs> Now let's not celebrate too early. Yeah, what are you gonna do, scary bitch? You got a gun? You can throw yourselves a party after you beat the strongest club in the world, the Sunshine. Kyoto-chan, I won't stoop to any cheating or tricks, but I won't have to. You can't hope to beat me in the state you're in. And you know it too, don't you, Yuki-san? Let's settle this once and for all, fair and square. Unlike you, I won't run away from the challenge. See you later then, I hope. Come on, kanzaki san We're leaving. Ugh. Right. So we're at the home stretch. Um, excuse me. Would you mind if I joined you guys? Mm. What? I didn't like working for cheaters, and you guys are way more fun. And now that all my friends are here, 
I want to come along too. Is that okay? Of course. Welcome aboard, Yuichan. Well, Goyuki's safe. You were joined us, the old owner's back, and for some reason, Manjima-san showed up. Let's just end this. Yes, sir. Manjima's gonna be our El Blono guy now, I'm sure. Alright, before we get into lunch. So, the only club left in the Grand Prix is Kiara-san's club. The Sunshine. Uh. Right, but with Blono gone, can the Grand Prix even keep going? He was the only host. Don't worry, the committee has been informed with new people who play by the rules, and they've brought on a new host. That hey. quickly? Yep. Perfect timing. He's coming in now. Yee <laughs> Yo, Kiryu-chan! How do I look? Pretty nice threads, yeah? Majima-san? Of course. Do I even want an explanation? Well, they need a host, so I volunteered for shits and giggles, and then, but they actually hired me. Majima-san, have you ever hosted anything in your life? Yeah. Can't say that I have, but don't stress, Kitty-chan. I got a knack for ad-libbing, right, Yo-chan? Right. I've seen it firsthand, and thanks to you, the Grand Prix can carry on. You sure about that? Well, as long as that's sorted, we should hurry about our next opponent. Can we really... We should worry, not hurry. Can we really beat Kyoto-san? You guys think she's that strong? Hi. Yes, after Yuki-san stepped down, she became the next legendary hostess. She joined us when I was still number number one at Sunshine. She worked hard and figured things out fast, so she climbed up quickly too. At the time, she was fond of me. So fond, in fact, she admitted that her dream was to beat me and become number one herself. But the day she became number two happened to be the day I quit Sunshine due to some circumstances. Mm -hmm. Circumstances? What happened? That was when Kensaki-kun, who had only been on the staff until that point, took over the club as the owner. How did he accomplish that? Kanzaki-kun was always really capable, and he was on the short list for manager candidates. Yoda-san and I had complete trust in him, and I guess we let him see too much. Then he betrayed us, took the name of Sunshine for himself, and became the sole owner. It's hard to believe, but if you really trusted him? We were careless. We didn't see that he didn't care about the customers and was only prioritizing money. And once he was able to show what he'd done for the profits, it was all too easy to push Yoda-san and me aside. That's why Yoda-san and I went in, went and built Forshine. But he only hated us more for that, and that's when the harassment started. You pretty much know the rest. I got into this group by pretending I saw the light about his money, but I only wanted to stop him. It must have been hard. Kira-chan rose up to number one after I left, of course. But she thinks I ran from the fight, and now she wants to sell the score. And maybe that's what you ought to do. What? You got Kiryu-chan backing you up as your manager, and yo chans gonna whip that staff into shape. Maybe it's time to dig up that dress and smile so you can face her, Yuki-chan. Me? Go back to hostessing? Yeah, you're only 39, Yuki-san. I know you can still do it. Go Yuki-chan, let's not go around spouting my age. She's right, though. No way a legend like you could forget how to do this. I don't care what anyone says. Kana-chan. I'm all about seeing the legend in action. What a time to be alive. I'm sure your skills will be a sight to behold, Yuki-san. I couldn't agree more! <sighs> you guys, nobody wants to request an old lady like me. But what I do? Age doesn't define a woman's appeal. What you've gained in experience as an owner may make you more than you ever were. Kiryu-san, you really think uh, so? I do. And you should trust when the manager has to say. Isn't that right, Majima-san? Maybe. I mean, let's be real. This is still just Yuki-chan here. Oh, fine. Let me see if I still have any makeup in the back. Yes! I'm coming with you! Girls, two arms! Yuki-san needs to help make this a reality! Got it. Sorry, that took longer than I thought. How do I look? Is it weird? It's weird, isn't it? Your 
stunning. They weren't lying about the legendary thing. <laughs> well, not bad, but nobody can shave 20 years off the clock. Huh? Shut up, Majima-san! Your daily look is downright loony now. What did you do to your hair? If walking crisis is the fashion statement you're going for, then congrats. Huh? What the hell? Where'd the savage Yuki-chan come from? But having Yuki-san on the floor really, com really completes us. I think this is how we'll beat Sunshine. Uh, yeah, this is the team we need. Guys, the toughest battle is still yet to come. Let's give it everything we've got. More shine. Say yet to come, which doesn't work. Kiryu-san, do you want to open the club? Yes, so I can edit the girls' as looks. We gotta fix up tonight's shift anyway. And she's diamond. Like, she's not... She ain't platinum, she's diamond. You think her stats would have been all maxed out, you know? Get Koyuki back in business. And we gotta also get the new girl in on too. I mean, yeah, she's level one, but hey, you gotta have platinum more than anything. At least for right now. There is no fucking way Kiara is going to join us. Or that's Yuki's slot for later. Since she can't really go on a date or anything right now. I don't think I ever mess with their hair. I don't like doing that changing the hairs, and that's just not them anymore. Wait a minute, what the fuck am I singing? God damn it. What the f Oh god! What?! BCSB.
have to do it because of the stats. I don't want to. Bike bunny years. She looks ridiculous. Poor girl. She looks ridiculous. Well, nothing puts elegant on for her because of the outfit. Stop sending 10,000 fucking messages! Because now I have to actually fucking make a cut in the video, which I don't like doing. As we were doing, we were making sure that there's really nothing else we can put up for uh, their stuff. You can wear something different now. The hell, this has the same fucking stats. Didn't they fucking tell me to do this a lot sooner? She asked them a question, and they don't want to respond, so I guess I'm not even gonna worry about it. Well, there's nothing to do for cute, so... Coming green? Sure shit don't look like it. How about this? This coming green? Oh, 
Khan is wearing. wearing this. This is apparently Yuki's dress. Is it in green? How's this Yuki's dress if it doesn't even look the same? This must be an old one. Yeah, this has to be like an old one or something. I'll just put this on because I got money to blow. I just did you. That's a whole new dress. The dress we just put on, what's her name, is uh, Yuki's old dress, I guess. Okay, well, that's it for this part. Um, I'm going to end it a bit early since people are, you know, they're coming back home and I don't want to be caught in the middle of a recording session and, you know, be like stolen from it for a long time while my game's just sitting there and I'm not getting anything done. Uh, but we will start with doing things with the girls again. I don't even remember why we need to talk to them. But that's what we need to do. Cause every night I will save your life.